I, and this is, I'm going to finish up the rest of River Run. I'm going to furnish it. I did do a little playing. Look, I added the gods wood so you can see, and I, um, build off our good friend, Manissa. Um, something happened. My game crashed. So, um, I had to rebuild all of it. So if it looks a little different than the last one, that is why. Um, but I think I did a better job this second time around. There are a few things after reading over my descriptions, um, in the wiki, uh, that I do need to change a little bit. Um, artist's interpretation, maybe. Um, I've got instrumental Irish music this time, um, because last time my video got flagged for <laughs> copyright, so I don't want that to happen again. All right, let's get into it. Speed build time. So this is me showing you all of the changes that I made in my rebuild. I'm much more pleased with what I've got going on this time around. Um, it's really big <laughs> and it doesn't feel like it until I realize how far away from everything I am. This is my first time building a platform so that was fun, and it took me quite a bit to figure out how to add detail to the trim of the platform. I don't like using the move objects cheat just because a lot of times it ends up with you not being able to have your sims utilize it. So I always make sure after I use it for a particular item like the fireplaces that I turn it back off again. I ran into a lot of trouble because of the angle that I built River Run at. It, everything is kind of diagonal. So every time I placed something down, even though I was looking at it straight on, I was technically at an angle. So everything plopped down at an angle. As you can see from the squares, they're from our perspective, diamonds. So I'm building the great hall and I put picnic tables in the back for the, I don't know, the riffraff, I guess, the second class visitors. And then I had fancy tables for the more high class visitors. And then the dais with the lords. There's only two chairs up there with Hoster, but Technically, he lives only with Edmure and Brynden, so it's totally fine. The Great Hall took me a lot longer than I thought. I accidentally discovered that I could build a freeze on walls that I had taken down, so that was fun for me. I then decided to move on to the bathrooms, and in retrospect, really could have just made that a very tiny room. This is when I first realized how big the build was, was based on how many toilets I could fit. Um, I then moved to the kitchen, which I was really trying to figure out what I wanted for the kitchen because I had built the food storeroom. So I wanted all appliances that were off the grid just to keep with the this is before electricity theme. And if the food stores are upstairs, the fridges should be upstairs. But then, you know, people do laundry back in the day. I... Uh, Every time I added an item, I found something cool from a decoration that 
that I wanted in a different room. So there's a lot of me jumping from room to room. And I found a lot of items that I just wanted to include just because I liked them. So if you go find this build in the Sims gallery, I'm Pamela417. It's just called River Run. You're going to discover a lot of the randomness, like the scales and measuring cups. And as you can see how many fruit bowls I decided to add to the food store to make it look like a two years worth of food. Moved the fridges several times. Found a cook fire. Was trying to fit lots of crates. <laughs> Wine is very important. That's all they drink. Water is a commodity. Then I found a cannon. So then, of course, I had to go and put a cannon by every single portcullis that I had made. Or a gate. It's not really the portcullis. I just love to call it that because it's a fun word. Lots of candelabras, torches. I put a podium in the private audience room and some chaises in case anyone caught the airs while they were meeting with the Lord. Figured he could do his business, you know, at the podium. And then I gave him a chair to sit down in because, you know, and then, of course, every room needs a fireplace. I didn't know how to represent fish, so I put a fish tank. <laughs> then I went on to the kennels and the stables, which ended up really just turning into a workroom just because there aren't kennels and stables in The Sims. So there's gardening, there's workbenches. candle making. I discovered the fizzy drink and that clearly needs to go into the kitchens because making wine. So a lot of moving and deleting happened. I put a pipe organ in the sept. Just scrolled through so many activities and skills Realized there should probably be a garden, right? How else are they getting food? I mean, I know that they're not the farmers, but some of the things are a little inaccurate to what would have been in the Lord's Castle. I had to use the Adopt-A-Pet to represent the kennel. And I just found a couple statues of some dogs. And I put roosters and chickens. Again, I know that the Lord wouldn't be doing all the farming, but... I'm not building the Trident. I'm building River Run, and there would have been people to do that. So then I had the fun time of scrolling through my wiki to read about the Sept. There's a whole paragraph about the Sept, and it says that there's a rainbow light. So I found these lights, and that I could make rainbow light into the Sept. It was really difficult to find statues. So that statue was of a horse, so I made it larger and put it in the stables. So I was playing around with the statues. I, as you can see, I added a bunch of lights because I couldn't see. And this, there were really only seven statues. So I kind of had to work with what I could find. And the seven are the father, the mother, the warrior, the maiden, the crone, the smith, the stranger. So the father and the mother are the, these fancy statues. The warrior is a, a suit of armor, and I placed one on every wall because it says they're in stone on every wall. The war, or the smith is represented by that farmer statue because the smith, um, one of the chapters of, in the series has a high sparrow who says that a cobbler could be part of the smith. So it's really anyone who makes something. So a farmer, I decided, worked. The stranger is a gargoyle. The stranger is supposed to be a hooded figure. Uh, but there weren't any hooded figures. So it's a gargoyle. We don't know what the stranger looks like. Um, 
I ended up reorganizing it and making the statues that you see when you walk in be the mother and the father. And I put the stranger behind the pipe organ to kind of hide him and make him a little more shroudy. This is me building the water wheel. There's a water wheel into the Tumblestone River. And that side of River Run is covered in ivy. There isn't anything like a water wheel. So I got a running fountain and put other water fixtures around it to kind of represent the power being made from the Tumblestone Mill. Didn't really work out. (laughs) Uh, I got smart. And when I moved on to the rooms in the keep, I added light first. By this point, I was pretty tired of building. I want to say I was over an hour in. So it was getting, it was getting tough for me. Uh, the main bedrooms that I've got going on are Edmure, Brynden, Lysa, and Catelyn are sharing. Then I've got a servant's quarters in which I put multiple beds, but there's really just the butler that I added to the family, but um, yeah, and uh, all the grand plans that I had uh, were kind of going out the window because somehow I made the keep tiny. I made the rest of the build so huge and ridiculous, and then the keep with its bedrooms were tiny, and then I've got this big room with nothing to do because what would they be doing over in the keep it was just them living they didn't they did all of their stuff elsewhere I mean there would have been a library right there would have been a place for the maester um where the septons would have lived and things like that but I kind of got over there and I was like okay and so I'm just inserting paintings and tapestries and I'm sticking with the red and blue theme And anything that I've heard about with the decorations when I've been reading the books and listening to the audiobooks. Um, I didn't do a lot with plants. I just kind of did one on every floor just because I wanted to. uh, Assigned all the beds. Realized I forgot bathtubs. Like I said I was going to do when I didn't put them in the... uh, my public restroom. I totally forgot the dungeon. So I had to go back and do that. There really wasn't anything that was screaming dark, dank dungeon to me. This was another point where I ended up finding random miscellaneous items that I put elsewhere in the castle as decorations, like coats of arms. Uh, I remembered that I wanted some sort of a bar and the globe was inspired because when they're having their meetings, they can be checking places in Westeros and here's me uploading it to the gallery. So enjoy it. I hope you download it and maybe play with it and do some renovations to the bathrooms. You can do whatever you want to it. Um, Everything is fully functional. I tested it out. It's a good time. I did go back and add tubs to every bedroom and laundry baskets and clothes lines. Yeah, things that you wouldn't think were important. Here I go. Here, here's the tubs. <laughs> so those are not in the uploaded build. I did not do that. I apologize. So that's something that you have to do. But it's done. Enjoy it. Love it. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, that took forever. I need to do more next time. Or I have better plans. See you next time.